Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for July 15th, 2013. It's currently 9.30 a.m. It's going to be a very hot and humid day. Actually, it's going to be a very hot and humid week throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area with heat advisories and heat warnings and, well, it's basically going to be very hot. Already, we have temperatures in the lower to mid 80s throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Notice our dew points are in the lower to mid 70s. Temperatures today are going to easily push into the mid 90s throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Upper 80s to lower 90s along the immediate coast with the heat index exceeding 100 degrees because we have all this humidity in the air. We also have light and variable winds with high pressure and control and clear skies. Won't be much of a threat for thunderstorms with high pressure sitting right over the region. As you can see, no real development throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. On the infrared satellite picture, we have clear skies. Now notice on the uh, infrared, you see like how it gets a little bit darker here. What that basically is telling me is that the surface is rapidly warming. So when you see this warming attribute showing up on the infrared satellite picture, you know you're going to be dealing with a very hot air mass in place. And this hot sinking air is going to basically limit any thunderstorm development. Now, there could be an Isolated, I mean extremely isolated thunderstorm that develops in the afternoon, uh, possibly along the coast or over the interior due to some mesoscale influences. But for the most part, everyone's going to remain hot, humid, hazy, and dry. Very uncomfortable. So if you have any outdoor activities, drink plenty of water and stay indoors. Here's the water vapor satellite picture. You can see High pressure basically sitting right over the mid-Atlantic. We have plenty of moisture in the atmosphere, but you see this black color right here? That means that we're having sinking air, and that sinking air is going to support those very hot temperatures and limit the development of any thunderstorms in the afternoon that you would normally see on a hot and humid summer day. So clearly we have a heat wave in effect. Look at the latest model guidance using the European model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website. You can see for this evening, high pressure is sitting right over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area at all levels of the atmosphere. And that's going to lead to, again, dry conditions, but again, very hot weather conditions today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And basically what we're going to be dealing with is temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s along the immediate coast mid to upper 90s over the rest of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. I would not be surprised on some of these days that locations like Newark, like southwest New Jersey, like portions of the Philadelphia metro, touches 100 degrees. Would not be surprised by that at all, especially during Wednesday, Thursday, when we're seeing a feedback of all this heat and temperatures are only able to fall down to 79 or 80 degrees and then rebound once again under this hot July sun, leading to temperatures easily pushing into the upper 90s to lower 100s. And of course the heat index easily pushing above 100. Someone could touch 110 if we do get temperatures around 99 to 100 degrees during this forecast period. Now, by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday, a cold front will attempt, and I stress the word attempt, to move through the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. I think it's going to start to wash out by the time it moves through. So look for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Our heat wave breaks, so instead of being 95, we're more like 89, 90. So as a result, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms. Those thunderstorms could be severe Friday night into Saturday morning and through the day on Saturday as this cold front approaches. We're going to have to watch to see the speed of this cold front where it's located, how much instability is in the atmosphere, and of course a whole host of other aspects uh, with this cold front, including mid-level dynamics, to see who gets the severe thunderstorms and when. But there's going to be a high threat, I think, on Friday night and again on Saturday with this cold front and scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the region. And if there's any hope at all to the uh, end of this pattern, unfortunately, the trough lifts out, Another ridge takes its place by the time we head into the middle of next week. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino.
follow Liz Weather Information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful Stay safe out there.